another T3. We have some T3s here today. And here, absolutely amazing in this color. Fancy yellow opal cadet a B. It's the so-called F coupe. But there have been also uh, two more um, two-door variations. One was the fastback, then there was the old Kiemen coupe, and then this one here, the F coupe. So it was as far as I can remember the last one. And I absolutely like these. And it's looking so amazing in this color. I don't know if it has moved or something like that. Anyway, here's a VW type, well, actually a type 2, but it's a T2B, I guess. Uh, walking around here is not very comfortable. <laughs> There's another one, uh, but this is a T. 1A, there's the Mercedes Benz, and here the T2B. And here a T3 uh, camping. It's a very cool uh, lantern here. In brown, I'm thinking this was also used uh, to be called the um, Joker, but I can't be wrong. I've seen this one here last year was always driving around so it's just uh, two fenders um, together and uh, of the um, of the front fender of the Beetle just put on that mini motorbike <laughs> and here are another two to be honest <laughs> or to be precise two T2 uh, B and here Fiat Ducato, first generation, also fire department car. And here's a the short hood, so the coats however of the Mercedes Benz, also a fire car. So also converted as a camper mobile. Also very cool. And here is the T uh, two of the T one uh, of Mercedes Benz, so the Düsseldorf Transporter, so the last generation of it. And here the Mercedes Benz. Feuerwehrle LE, some Swabian for everything to make everything cute. So for me, Svenle. <laughs> this is a Volkswagen LT, also a former fire department vehicle LT35, which means this was a 3.5 tonner, so a bigger van that is bigger than the uh, Volkswagen Transporter, so bigger than this one here. This was the LT, and here's the Ducato, already facelift of the first generation. And here are two more VW Type 2. Actually, loving these uh, Fuchs alloys. Ah, well, when Mike is seeing them, I guess he's also remembering about Eddie. So, also amazing. <laughs> and here's a thing. VW Type 182, former army car from the German army. Also called the thing, but here we're calling it Kübelwagen. Cool convertible, huh? So, and here Volkswagen Beetle, 
1302, I guess. And take a look to here. Oh, it's looking fancy. But is this fully electrical? Because all I'm seeing are just some more wires. And there's no entry in the front. Must be a Tesla. <laughs> just kidding. The engine is always in the back and it's water cooled. It's a so called boxer engine. Because um, one piston is going this way and the other one that way. The cool thing about this meeting is also that we are seeing some cars that are, yeah, well, looking like they have already enjoyed better days, but I still like this as well because, yeah, keep them alive. Because when it, this one's thrown away, then it's away. And now you can still see it. I hope my X type is also not getting thrown away. And here, guys and girls, of course, um, Renault 5. These other have been so popular back in the old days. They have vanished this much. Still loving this sign. But French small cars back then weren't known for its reliability. Oh, and 300 TD. Beautiful. Oh, actually, it's cool. I mean, beautiful is yeah, it's just depending on the eye of the beholder. So once again at the uh, Mazda MX, uh, MX, it's an RX-7, now with the closed hood, and there stands RX-7, yeah. I was thinking I was standing RX-2, but <laughs> of course it's a 7, I was thinking maybe it stands for Mark II, because as you can remember I was uh, thinking it's the second series. Opel Senator B. Some people are saying this is the last big Opel, but I'm stating it was another one that I'm also showing you very soon. And here, uh, Volkswagen Scirocco is for sale. Very dirty. Loving these ATS cup wheels. So 6,000 euros. And it's yours. Shiroko GT. And here Opel Senator B. At the side view, some people may also recognize the um, Holden Commodore at some point. That's a big estate or wagon, that's what she said. Um, loving the Wooden stuff there, old mobile. Of course, it's fake wood. So what is it? Custom cruiser. So it's front, and here's a an Alpha Junior. It's an old one. And here more than plus four, I would say, when I'm seeing the wheels. Morgan. Guten Morgen, as we're saying in German. So, for a good morning. <laughs> I'm thinking it's a plus four, so here's only stands roadster. And here's the Julia. So, and finally, that's what I wanted to say. This is the last big Opel, in my opinion. This here's a diplomat. Um, when you're seeing this one here with the horizontal um, headlamps, it could also be, of course, um, a Capitan. Or was it Admiral? No, Admiral. Capitan was the preface. Lift. Um, this one was called uh, Diplomat because it was the 2. Dot, or what was it, 2.8 liter engine. The 5.4 liter Diplomat had um, vertical taillights and vertical headlamps, but the uh, body overall was the same. Also a 
beautiful car and big. That's what she said. And here, something you may call the Black Widow. <laughs> I'm thinking it is an Opel Record. So the Commodore was the uh, higher trim, the more luxurious trim and all with the six cylinders and the record had the four cylinders. Ah, interesting guys, so here is the BMW 2002, so the 2002 series of the Bauer Cabriolet, what I was telling you before, at the, well before, sorry, some time ago, at the Opel Cadet Aero. So here Vinyl top and here the Targa top. And here you can also see, so here stands Bauer, Carousel Bauer from Stuttgart. So, some Volkswagen T3 campers. And I guess uh, in not too long time there will also appear the people from the Motor Challenge. So they're doing some, yeah, not racing, just a tour and doing some, yeah, some special exercises or whatever. And then they're coming there and the best one is winning a cup or something like that. <laughs> 